baseball, they discovered that getting on base drives winning percentage more than they thought. Uh, in hockey, we discovered something similar. It's all about puck possession. Welcome to the Sailor Metrics Network. I'm Rob Lowe. Today, I'm going to talk about Corsi, what it is and why it's important, and what it has to do with puck possession. Now, Corsi, um, like most hockey statistics, is very poorly named. It's named after Jim Corsi, who was goal coach for the Buffalo Sabres years ago. And, um, Either he invented or he popularized it, but essentially it's your plus minus, except it's based on shots instead of goals. And all shots, uh, not just the ones that reach the net. Uh, if you hit the post, if, if you miss by a little bit, um, if it's tipped wide, it all counts. And why shouldn't it? Um, it had a chance to go in. It all means the same thing. It means that you or your team had the puck, it controlled the play, it had the territory, it had taken advantage of the situation and was translating or converting that, uh, that advantage, that possession that they had into a scoring opportunity. And whether it hits the post, uh, misses the nest, deflected wide, it's immaterial. Your team had the puck. Album. So it's very much just your shot based plus minus. Now why is that important? Well, we all know why plus minus is important. Your goal based plus minus, if you score more goals than your opponent, you're obviously going to win a lot of games. That's what hockey's all about. Well, then why not shots? That's how you get your goals, is by taking shots. In fact, there's a lot more luck involved in goals. Uh, again, like I said, you could hit posts. There's only five or six goals scored by both teams in any given night. You hit a couple posts, you have bad luck, you hit a hot goalie, and, uh, and that could be it. So there's a lot more luck involved in scoring goals than there are in taking shots. Taking shots, I mean, first of all, if you have a couple of bad breaks, well, there's going to be 80 or 90 attempted shots if you combine both teams together. A couple of bad breaks isn't going to really destroy your Corsi score. Uh, furthermore, it's a very reproducible skill to take shots. Uh, maybe your team can't always get the breaks and get it in, but they can sure get the puck and make their passes and make their plays and, and take advantage of those situations. Uh, that's much more of a skill than taking the shots. So you have a lot more data, and a lot more skill. Now, if all I'm doing is selling you a better version of plus minus, I'm not going to get a lot of buyers. Because plus minus has its flaws. You can have a great plus minus because you're a great player, but it could also be because you're simply on a great team or you're getting a lot of great ice time. And, uh, and, and you know, Corsi, first of all, Corsi does take away the effect of having a hot goalie or facing a hot goalie because you're only looking at shots, but does it address the other two points? And to an extent, it does. Um, to an extent. Now, first of all, um, Generally, when you see someone's Corsi, it's actually a rate that they give you. It's not a, 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 a blank raw number, it's a rate uh, per 60 minutes. So uh, that get, that's getting rid of the influence of ice time. Uh, now, how do they get rid of the influence of your teammates? Well, that's a little bit trickier, but uh, generally when someone gives you a player's Corsi, they might give you the player's relative Corsi, which is the that player's uh, shot base plus minus, their Corsi, when they're on the ice, minus the team's uh, Corsi when he's not on the ice. So if you're on a very good team, you actually have to do even better than them to show that you're driving the play more than the other options on the bench. If you're on a bad team, again, uh, all you gotta do is show that your team gets more shots relative to their opponents uh, when you're on the ice compared to the other people sitting next to you on the bench. Now, as for the other question, how does it address your, your situation or the points that you play? Well, it's not perfect, it doesn't do that. Um, unfortunately, that's still something we have to do ourselves. Uh, the, the main advice I have there is make sure we use course to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Uh, don't compare a first line center to a shutdown defenseman. Don't compare a depth forward to, uh, to the Sedins. You know, it's, you have to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. In each situation, compare a player in the same role to another player in the same role. Look at the courses. And if you consistently choose the player that's driving the play, the player who, with him, the team is getting an advantage in shots relative to the other players, then overall your team is going to do much better possession-wise, which even if you have bad luck in the short run, in the long run, you're going to wind up ahead. And the classic example of this is indeed this year's Los Angeles Kings. People say they came out of nowhere. They snuck into the playoffs and they went all the way to the cup. Well, that's true. But they didn't exactly sleep out of nowhere. They had the fourth best possession rates in the league. They just had the world, the, the, the league's worst shooting percentage. Not the world's worst, the league's worst shooting percentage. The worst shooting percentage in the league. So it shouldn't have been that much of a surprise to see that team advance all the way to the finals. So it's, it's a kid. Now, Napoleon said he'd rather use generals be lucky than good. But you can't choose lucky. Luck comes and goes. You don't know who's going to be lucky. But you do know who's going to be good. You look at the Corsi, and if if the good team gets lucky, as what happens to the Kings, you can go deep. So that's the bottom line. Corsi is just your 
attempted shots per 60 minutes is your shot base plus minus. The reason it's important is because players that can have control of the play compared to their opponents, these are the players that can help you win by giving you possession of the puck. Now, that's all for today. And if you'll excuse me, my Bear League team's up next. And uh, I wouldn't want to miss it because my teammates love it when I tell them when their course is driving the play. So, thanks for watching. I'm Rob Bowman on Sabermetric Network, and I'll catch you next time.